Hello everybody, good morning and welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. You'll notice I don't have a hat on, which means it's back to school time and I gotta go back to work. And, uh, or I should say I get to go back to work. And I'm a high school history teacher for those of you who don't know. So this is my, you know, superhero outfit. And yeah, I have a jacket on, I know it's hard to believe, but my room is freezing, uh, even though it's like 95 degrees out here. So um, I want to mention something real quick before we started the video, and that was uh, Thrift Mine, Pam and Ryan over there at Thrift Mine, and I reached out and talked to them when I saw their video because they were kind enough to mention um, my family and my channel, and I know a lot of you watch them and you um, now watch me, so I wanted to uh, to do something. They are doing a little bit of a fundraiser. They're starting to sell some t-shirts on their channel and their links and all of the profits all of the proceeds are going to go to one particular lady and she doesn't even know it's going to happen and you need to check out this video her name is eileen i'm sure some of you already have some of you probably already have your t-shirts i have mine on the, on, on the way and they're going to give 100 percent of the the proceeds to her because of all her charitable good deeds that she's done and she continues to do and will do with this money so we're going to put a link to the show where they're talking about that the show where they have seen her where they met her and had a long conversation and i love having conversations when i'm out and about with folks and and they do too and i really appreciate that so and we're going to put a link to their uh to their shop as well where you can go on and get that t-shirt so if you don't mind if you haven't already um i think they're doing this through friday night maybe into saturday and then they're going to go surprise her on saturday as historical author anthony brandt has said other things may change us, but we start and end with family. I've been picking the Commonwealth for 20 years, searching high and low at yard, estate sales, antique malls, thrift stores, junk shops, garages, and sometimes even barns for treasures I can pass on to new homes through eBay. But now as I watch my little ones growing up before my eyes, I find that my real treasures are right here with me every day. So join us as we pick, flip, and resell on our two eBay stores and in our two antique booths. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth. No. <laughs> you do it. Hi guys, welcome back to Commonwealth Pick One the eBay case. This is Kevin, and we are in the eBay cave, back in the eBay cave, with a full house, right? Yeah. So it used to be me and Sophie and the hamster and the hermit crab, and now it's me and Sophie and the hamster and the hermit crab and Turner and Reagan and Blue Ridge Mama and, and Bubba. Bubba. That's right. So we got a full house. Yeah. All right. Uh, speaking of Blue Ridge Mama, we have a couple items that she sold today, and this is an item we've talked about before. Uh, I think they were dollar buys, and this sold for ten eighty eight. We bought a ton of them. We're not making a bunch of money, but like I said, anytime you can have multiple listings um, that will sell over and over again, even if you're making five bucks on them, it is worth it. If you, I mean, if you sell a hundred of these things, it's five hundred bucks, and all you're doing is shipping. So pretty, pretty good deal. So smushy, mushy. Um, smushy surprises. I don't even know what this thing is, so. Uh, this was a buy that, um, Blue Ridge Mama also bought. So, two Blue Ridge Mama sales in a row here. And this was a buy at a yard sale. And she actually knew the person we were buying it from. Walked up in the yard sale like, hey, and started talking. I had no idea who they were. But I was happy because I was looking around the yard sale and I got these Airwicks brand new in the in the uh, packages and they so i think we paid five dollars total for it i didn't even try to uh, negotiate because apparently my wife knew them um i don't want to make anybody mad and they wanted uh 250 or i i can't remember i think she, i just brought them both to her and she said five bucks i said okay so it was 28.95 plus shipping so it's about a 20 dollar profit on those all right, we have a few more items that sold here, and this is the big one. So if you remember the yard sale went on with Daniel, Daniel's big adventure. Um, I was hesitant to buy this sign, but I ended up buying it. Um, I bought it for $35. I wasn't sure it was the right thing to do. But the fact that we have that booth, or those booths, is what convinced me to do it, because this is a local sign here to the area. Uh, A&M Sign Company in Lynchburg, uh, made in 1954. 
an embossed sign. So even though I've never heard of this brand, um, there was a, it says Atlanta, Georgia. There was a, um, a comp on there, no sold comps, but there was a comp that was like missing this part of the sign. It was completely beat up. It was $85 plus shipping and there were five watchers on it. Nobody bought it, but there were five watchers on a completely beat up sign. And this is in pretty good condition, except for maybe this paint that got on it. Um, when somebody was painting around wherever it was. And so I decided to put it out there for $200 or best offer. In worst case scenario, I was gonna put it in the booths and since it had local value, it'd probably go for 50 bucks, get my money back. Um, but immediately I started to get a few bites, $100 offer. Um, I countered with uh, 160 plus shipping and then, and it just sat there for about 30, 40 minutes and then somebody else said, hey, $167 plus shipping and I took it. So could have got more if I waited, I suppose, but the market for this, I can't be, um, you know, I, I mean, I'm gonna make 120 bucks, $115 profit on it. It's actually not too bad to ship. Have to put some reinforcement, um, sturdy cardboard across this way and this way, and then wrap the whole thing in cardboard. So like that $115 profit, it is gonna probably be um, all told listing and all that, probably half an hour's worth of work, but that's pretty good money. Uh, one of those quarter baseballs we got in that same day's yard sale went for $9.99 free shipping, which is about a $5 profit. Uh, these two been in there forever, these ping, ping uh, wrenches, um, and they went for $8 for the pair. Uh, you're only making a couple bucks, but I'm in the profit for those. This was a Blue Ridge Mama buy, and it's an alpaca. Um, let me see if I can make sure I get this right here. It's a duck. 100% uh, premium baby classic alpaca fur plush ultra soft duck. Long title. Uh, 2477, and these are amazingly soft. Um, and I think she paid, I'm not sure, I want to say, sometimes these are 50 cents, but she probably paid two bucks. Um, which means that this is still a good $17 profit or so. So I like that. And a couple of shirts. This is a Liberty shirt that I got for a buck at a yard sale. Nothing amazing, and it sold for $10, $9.99 plus shipping. And this is a the, the remnants of a massive buy I made last summer of LuLaRoe. And we sold and sold and sold and sold, and we made a bunch of money. Actually, I'm not positive that's what this is from, but um, probably is. And this finally sold for $7.95 plus shipping. LuLaRoe's kind of dead. Uh, but it'll still sell if you get the right price, if you put the right price on it. So, almost forgot we had one more item sell. Homeschool Hustler store, a little Garfield is eight sixty one. Free shipping. Bought it for fifty cents. It'll ship for two dollars and seventy cents. So you're looking at fees for you're making about four and a quarter on this. So the kids are gonna make just a little bit of money off of this one. What does it weigh? 59. Okay. That means 8 ounces. 8 ounces. Go ahead and... Actually, you know what? Let's not put it in there yet. Let's put the sticker on first. Alright, here's the final project. Mm -hmm. Um, I put cardboard going up and down, cardboard going a horizontal, and, and then a giant piece of cardboard around the whole thing, and then reinforced the corners with some more cardboard. So it took a little longer than I thought. It took about 35 minutes um, front to end, so a little bit longer than I wanted to take. But you know what? It's a $120 uh, payday. Still, uh, I bet you anything they never get good. that thing out of there, but that's all right. We tried.